from the wilds of Africa to cages in Southeast Asia. These are some of a thousand animals found in a Thai police raid on a farm outside Bangkok. Among them are rare white African lions prized for their beauty. We are still investigating it. We presume these animals are protected under the law. The police were tipped off by neighbors and are questioning three people. It's thought the creatures were bought in South Africa and smuggled into Thailand. Some are endangered, but others are not, so limited trade of them is allowed. But the owners still need permits under Convention on the International Trade of Flora and Fauna, known as CITES. One of the caretakers, Montri Bumprolon, says he doesn't think he's done anything wrong. He now faces charges of possessing wild animals and could get four years in jail. This is not illegal. They are imported from South Africa under CITES Appendix 2, which is allowed for trade. Animals like the leopard cat and this bird called the hornbill are endangered, so cannot be bought and sold. They're protected under Thai law as well as international ones. Sometimes we see this as a small issue, but actually these animals belong in the wild. For example, the hornbill only lives in the jungle in perfect conditions. We found out this morning that this hornbill was going to be handed over to a client, so we blocked it. We intercepted the sale, so it's obvious there's a trafficking trade going on. Police raids frequently turn up protected animals in Thailand, a hub for their trade internationally. And the police regularly arrest and imprison the people involved. But these animals aren't free yet. They'll have to stay locked up until the police complete their investigation. Caroline Malone, Al Jazeera.